Aloha, welcome, this is Tim. I'm back for another video. This time, I'm gonna do, do a follow-up video on iOS 5 versus iOS 1. Now, the key, the, the what I'm gonna accomplish in this video is just demonstrating the responsiveness that iOS 1 offers. The audio quality might be a little bit less in this video as I'm using a headset rather than my standard microphone as I want to be able to manipulate both devices quickly and easily to demonstrate side-by-side what the speed quali qualifications are of both devices. So before you, they're turned off right now, but I've got an original iPhone running iOS 1.0.2, and I've got in a, an iPod Touch 4 running the latest iOS 5.1. Both are clean installs of the OS, so there is no crud to deal with. I'm not, in, I'm not testing with devices that have any third-party apps, I'm just testing what was built stock into the phone, and in this case, the iPod Touch. Recording it is the iPod iPhone 4S, and I didn't want to install, I didn't want to clean erase it for the purposes of this, so I decided, let's do the iPod Touch. It's a great device. Apple still sells it. Let's see what happens running side-by-side, -side, launch times, boot times, things like that. So without further ado, let's get on to the video for the day. I've got the iPod Nano. They'll be running the stopwatch and let's just get it off and rolling. So let's hit the stopwatch, and let's go. So you'll notice immediately I hit the same thing as far as the home, the sleep button at the same time, but the iPod, uh, the iPhone actually boot up faster to the Apple logo. And within the first, we had 20 seconds. I hit it a little late there but 20 seconds and then 27. So about eight seconds slower there for the, for the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, for the touch. So about eight seconds slower for the touch to actually boot up from launch. So that's something to note right off the bat. Let me boost some brightness and get the settings acclimated for this video. So here we go. Let's uh, reset the stopwatch here. And let's just play around with some of the built-in apps. You can see some of them are very similar. So for instance, start the timer here. And pretty similar there. Let's do the same mode here. So boom. In this case, the iPod touch was faster in that test. Let's run the Photos app, in this case, about the same time. So uh, pretty much on par is what I'm experiencing so far. Oops, let's try that again. What I have noticed is with the iPhone 4S, when I'm running it, with all the stuff I normally put on there, apps and stuff, it slows down to where point that the iPod, that the iPhone original is actually faster. So that's something to note here. These are both on the same Wi-Fi network. And let's try to do the featured tab again. Boom, boom. Let's try that one more time. And that might have had an unfair advantage with it loading before. But as you see, it, it, I guess the iPod is a little bit faster in this case. Uh, not what I expected. Uh, basically, the stock install is what's making this happen here. Let's jump over to the calculator. And about the same time, you can see the iPod Touch was actually a little bit faster there. So Apple, it seems, has improved the stock experience. But once you nail down the, uh, once you start adding apps to it, that's a whole nother story that gets really interesting. So once again, it is faster on the touch to actually get to that screen. Not by much, I should note, but it is a little bit faster, I'm noticing, app by app. In this case, uh, let's see, let's try that one more time. About the same there. So Apple's maintained fluidity amongst the, the stock install here, but what I've noticed here is just in general that as you install apps, it will actually slow down the iPod or the iPhone or whatever the case may be. And that is just something to note as you use these devices. The more apps you put on, the slower these devices will get. 
And that is a true fact, as I, I will probably later showcase in a future video, the slowness factor, what happens when you actually install, when you install devices on, or apps on these devices. Let's see. So let's try mail. Once again, the iPod was faster. Safari. And now let's try an interesting test in Safari. Let's actually test loading a website, say iwakepodcast.com. So let's load both of these sites side by side and see what loads it faster. So Safari, how has Safari improved over the generations? I was one versus I was five. What has changed? Now let's uh, do this, and we're going to go at the same time. Same Wi-Fi network, same things there, just different OSs. Boom. So you'll notice instantly uh, the iPod is going faster. We're on the same exact network, and we are going faster. Five. Okay. So you're noticing instantly uh, a faster load time there. And what you're also noticing here is the... The original iOS does not support this audio standard here. Look at this. So original iPhone does not support HTML5 streaming, does not support the YouTube standard for HTML5, and asks you to actually download a, a Flash. So the original iOS is not uh, supporting as much there. Ipsy, let's go back. So that's something that it's kind of interesting that was discovered here, and uh, just something to note. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, once again, streaming player not found. Let's try loading up just a link here. So let's go to the show notes here. If alarm, let's see if alarm how fast this loads. On um, let's see, let's let's do that wrong. Let's try that one more time. If alarm. Let's clear out the queue here. So let's load back to if alarm. And open. And once again, the iPod beat it out. So just some interesting notes there. And you'll notice as well, even on the loop, you're noticing some weird things up here, right? This is not present on the iPod Touch, but is actually different on the class. The, uh, the iPhone is different. The iOS 1 is showing different things on the website. So you'll notice Apple's actually updated Safari a fair bit in this iPod, in iOS, I should say. So we've gone through this, we've gone through that, we've gone through all of the apps so far, uh, except for settings. Let's load these two up side by side. You'll notice instantly, iPod was up. This took a you know, half second longer, maybe not even that much. Let's now load up the, I, the iPod, the music app. And this case, the iPhone one app. So what I'm noticing here, and as you're probably seeing here, is iOS in a stock install environment has not really sped up or slowed down. It's kind of been consistent. There's been some instances where it's gotten faster or some instances where it's gotten slower. The biggest thing you'll notice, though, is say you try to update an iPod iPhone 3G to iOS 5. It's not a pleasant experience uh, if it can even run that. So when the older devices are updated, to run the newer software, that's where slowness really starts to appear. When Apple ships their products, they are clearly maintaining that consistent speed that's shipped from day one. And that's something cool to note. The original iPhone is not any slower than the iPhone 4S as far as, as the stock experience. But it's once you start uh, using the, the third-party apps, once you start loading stuff onto it, as any normal human does, that's where it slows down, and that's what I will show you on another video later this week on as to how the iPhone 4S has actually slowed down on my device compared to the original iPhone. 
So I'm going to show you out of the box experience on the iPhone one, uh, not out of box, but this is what you'd be using. It's got contacts in here. It's got stuff like that. So what is a day to day usage on an iPhone, like original iPhone with no apps, nothing like that versus original usage on the 4s or not original usage, but usage today as I have it filled with apps and things like that. What's that going to be like? So that's what's coming later this week. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my daily Apple News show over at iwakepodcast.com. And that's where I do Apple News Monday through Friday. I also do a weekend show, I Wake Again, where you get interviews, discussions, things like that. Go to iwakepodcast.com slash again. Thanks for watching. I'll have more iOS 1 versus iOS 5 videos coming soon. Stay tuned. Aloha. Aloha.